So I'm calling this my mechanic style tool chest toolbox. Lots of shallow drawers, particularly for all my mechanic style tools, which every workshop, particularly if you've got machines, needs to have screwdrivers, sockets, that sort of stuff. And I have very detailed labels like gizmos and grippy things for all of my grippy things. The construction for this isn't really any different from what you've seen so far, just squish dimensions. You might wonder why I'm using a crosscut sled instead of the miter saw for these tasks given I've just completed the miter saw fence. When it comes to repetition, in this case there are 10 of each part, the table saw is generally quicker for small parts that easily fit on the sled. With the miter saw you have to let the blade come to a stop after each cut. Just like the other drawers and cabinets, this is going together with pocket screws. Unlike the other drawers, this is just getting a nailed and glued on MDF base. I normally wouldn't recommend this, but because the drawer depth is so shallow and it won't be holding particularly much per drawer, I think it should be fine. If not, well, I can always take the base off and glue on some plywood down the track. For the cabinet I decided to lay out and attach the drawer slides before actually assembling the cabinet. With the slides being in such close proximity to each other, it was just easier this way. The Craig draw slide jig worked as a nice T-square for layout.
So I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Uh, I cut a little groove in this bottom drawer here so I can get power for my phone, for my uh, camera battery charger. Got a nice spot for my ISO tubes to sit in. My phone can sit in here and broadcast Bluetooth to the whole workshop, which is great. Uh, I've got some beige or white uh, draw liner in some of these. It makes them much more visible, I think. Probably switch a few of these around, like um, my marking and layout is just a little bit too high. It's not as accessible as I'd like it. So as I said, very happy with how this has turned out. I know it's not perfect, but for its use it is. Um, they're 350mm draw slides, so they're not too deep drawers. Good for lots of the stuff that every workshop really has to have. Uh, particularly things like various wrenches and vice grips, uh, the circlip pliers, stuff that I'd love to not have in here but kind of need to because I have machines and all of them need various bits and pieces so that'll help clean out a lot of the drawers that just have assorted crap in them. For now this is also the last video in this series, the Mitosol Station build series. Don't forget there are plans, links below if you wish to build this as well. Uh, I will eventually come back to this probably to build a dust shroud for the Mitosaur. I've got plenty of material to do that, just a little bit burnt out on this series. Let me know if you've enjoyed this more detailed build series. I'm looking at not just providing the how to build something, but the why I'm building it thing. So describing my processes for doing something, but also the reasoning behind it. If you haven't, let me know that too. Uh, I sort of need to make a few decisions on the future of the channel going forward. Next week there won't be a video project, I'm taking a one week break from the actual video side of it. I will be filming stuff but I've got a whole bunch of actually pretty neat projects coming up including some stuff to do with some live edge slabs but to do a better video of those things I need a bit more time than one week so not next week, the week after there'll be video projects again. And again thanks to Craig for sponsoring this series and thank you for watching.